What's happening YouTube? Ray Ray here with some King from Cobblestone which was uh, purchased through TobaccoPops.com $10.99 and it's also available on SmokingPops.com for $10.99 It's the only place I've found the Cobblestone brand anywhere. Am I holding that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a Vapor. Uh, it's Virginia Perique. It's all it lists. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'll read the tin description for you. Couple stone chess kink. This is from the uh, chess series that they have. They have three different series, I believe. I'll go to smokingpops.com here and uh, read you what they have. It's uh, blended by Colace and Coffin, Germany. Cobblestone's chess series features pop tobacco's name for the namesake's game pieces. The King is a ribbon cut mixture of Virginia and Perique, offering a distinct and delicious flavorful profile for vapor lovers. The cut on this is, uh, I could say it's more of a ribbon ribbon flake. Uh, there's actually still some bigger bigger chunks of flake in there, but I'll go ahead and take a picture and put it, uh, uh, give you a close up right here. Um, this is a very uncomplex, very uh, straightforward, run of the mill Virginia blend with a little bit of Perique. It's, uh, it doesn't have a lot these, these strands really, they really want to stick together. I'm actually doing a, uh, or been smoking on some uh, Wessex Classic Virginia. Uh, I don't know if that review will be up uh, this weekend or not. But it's also made by what, Colace and Cop. It's, uh, I would almost argue that these are the exact same tobaccos just with different labels on them. The only difference I actually have it right here beside of me. First of all, the the uh, the Wessex is a little bit darker. Right here's the the King. Right here's the Wessex. But other than that, I mean, this is a a dark Virginia. This is a light Virginia. The Perique and both of them are. There's a little bit more Perique that I can detect in the uh, in the King. But they are both, both very mellow, very tame, very well behaved, and also at the same time, very basic. But that's what a lot of people want, and I know I really, uh, I really dig the, the basic blends from time to time. Uh, I like my complex stuff. I like uh, pondering and just uh, trying different ways of smoking a pipe to test all the different uh, nuances that I can get out of the tobacco. But there's times, too, I just want to sit on the patio and... Uh, just have a good smoke and this is a this is a good smoke packs real easy it's in a dr. gray boy uh, Savoy dress did I say gray boy a dr. gray bow Savoy but let me get away before you more talk about it One thing I noticed about these tobaccos, both of them in particular, I don't know if it has to do with the cut or what, but it's hard. It's hard to get it uh, lit evenly on top. It just wants to run through the middle for the most part. You can tell very, very easily it's it's but it's a straight up Virginia. It's got that really nice clean uh, grassy hay uh, flavor to it that's very dominant. The uh, Perique. Perique is barely, barely noticeable. You can more feel it than taste it. But about the only time that I can actually get any uh, any Perique is just maybe a slight pepper nuance through the retro hill. Other than that, it's uh, it's more of a uh, it's more of a feel, which I 
you can barely taste on your tongue a little bit but it's more of in the uh, the back of the throat and the uh, the sinuses but the Virginia that is used is a very good a very clean uh, tasting Virginia it's not a uh, a citrusy uh, type Virginia though not like a, like golden sliced or something like that sipping on some uh, apple cider which I prefer with Virginia's and uh, also another thing that these uh, blends have in common my uh, room note score my room note judge my wife she uh she basically can't, I mean, there's smoke, but she can, uh, she's like, I really don't smell anything, you know. Maybe a little bit of sweetness, but she didn't say that. That's what I say. But they are sweet. Well, this, the, the, the King, the one that we're talking about right now, is sweeter than the, uh, the Classic. The, the Wessex but it's not overbearing it's not a uh, it's not super sweet or anything great uh, it's a great way to introduce a, a new smoker uh, to uh, to Parik, you know, not to overwhelm them at first, but then again, they might not even be able to to detect any Parik because it is very very far in the background, more so in a field than a flavor. But yeah, I just uh, I don't know what it is about this cut. Are these two particular ones I've had tobaccos other tobaccos that had a tendency to uh, burn through the middle before but these two for some reason it's every time it don't matter what you light them with it don't matter how they're lit how they're packed and it's really weird but that also tells me that these two are very close cousins, very close family. They're both made in Germany by the same company, same cut. And very, like I said, the only difference is this is a lighter Virginia than this. This is just a little bit darker. It might just be steam for a little bit longer. I don't know. Press for just a little bit longer. But I was going to hold off for another week or so before doing a review on this but I'll probably go ahead and do it after this one so I can post it this coming Saturday because I'll post this one I don't even know what today is this one will be posted on Wednesday this week it'll be posted on May the 26th hmm not sure exactly how I personally feel about it I won't buy it again because it's uh I've got many others that's uh that's just like this. But it's good, it's mellow, it's smooth, it's uh it's typical, it's basic. Uh complexity is I mean it's it's not complex at all. It's not that unique. But it's just a good chill out, hang out with your buddies, you want something to puff on and not really distract you from conversations or anything, this is great. But there's not a whole lot of tasting to be done here. The flavor is there. It's a very linear uh, top flavor. Here's your scorecard. Pretty good. 70 overall, 75. Because it's not a bad tobacco. It is a, it is a good tobacco. It's just a very basic tobacco. It's just, it's, uh, it's a little temperamental on the puffability because it wants to burn through the middle. That might just be me. You know, that very could well be my, uh, 
my doing, you know, just my, uh, there goes a brain fart again. But anyway, it might not be for everybody. For Virginia too, it does burn a little bit on the cool side. When I first started smoking Virginia's, it took me forever to, uh, to actually be able to smoke two bowls of them in a day. Because, I mean, it's, uh, my body chemistry just does not agree with Virginia's on a, uh, on a constant basis. Callie. Callie, come here. Come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Let me see if I can get my dog to see y'all. Come here. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come here. Oh, oh, Archie is. Archie is. Look over here. There you go. Look at the camera. No. This is daddy's baby. Daddy's baby. Oh, oh. Here's my other baby. Well, she jumped down. Oh, she's got covered in mud. Been in the creek. All right, Callie. I don't mean you can get up in my lap, girl. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want pop? Hmm? You want to smoke pop? You want to smoke pop? Hmm? No? All right, girl. All right, get down. Yeah, she's just a, she's just a little puppy. Oh, God. All right, get down. Daddy's got to finish this video. We're here to talk about Biker, not look at a, a gigantic black dog with an enormous head. All right, but anyway, I guess we're going to finish it up like this. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. It's about all I got on this. Basic. It's good. It's more of like your uh, your cup of milk or something like that. You know, it's uh, like you like your cheeseburger of the food world. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Y'all take care. Thank you.